So we got this question from Patrick. And the question is, hello, I am trying to do a screen flow that allows a user to pick from several email templates and then send out the email. Can you do this idea? I can't find a video like that. And yeah, I think we can go ahead and do that. So to demonstrate that, uh, I came up with a scenario. Basically, let's say we have a bunch of leads. The status of those is open, not contacted. And we want to let our Salesforce users be able to uh, email out those users through a screen flow and we'll let them select the template that they want to use. Uh, pretty simple, right? And I guess maybe after they do that, the status will automatically get updated to like working contacted or something along those lines. So I think pretty straightforward. Uh, here is the screen flow that I came up with, which I'll go through in detail. But just to demonstrate that this works, let's go ahead and click on the run button. When we do that, our flow will load. And as you can see here, I currently have one lead in the org that meets our criteria of open lead that can be emailed. We click next. And then in the next screen, we have here a list of all our classic templates as well as lightning templates. And I think for this, I chose the criteria that uh, the template name has to contain a lead in it, uh, which I will show you guys in the actual flow. But here, let's say, for example, that we want, just want to use this email open lead template. So we go ahead and click that little radio button and we click send emails. And there you go. The email got sent out. So let's go ahead and demonstrate the actual uh, logic itself. So starting with the beginning, we have our get open leads uh, records. And if we look, if we click into it, you just see that we're just querying the lead object. And basically, we're just grabbing the leads, with the status of open non contacted and that it contains an email and we're just store or we're just grabbing all the records. Next up, we have a decision tree right here. And basically, what this is doing is just saying, hey, when we did the query, did we actually get anything or not? If we didn't get anything, we're going to just show the user a screen saying that there are no open leads and the screen flow will end. However, if there are leads that were queried that met our criteria, the user will be presented with the next screen that you saw that will basically just tell the user, here are the leads that can be emailed out. And pretty simple. Uh, I don't know if, how in detail I want to go in this because the video where the question was left actually went in depth about how to build this specific flow. So if you require more details, go ahead and watch that video, which I will link in the description box as well. But uh, this is just a, a data table that just shows the, the leads that we got from the, uh, the get record query, and as well as just a button that goes to the next step. Okay, moving on. After that, well, we have a get records uh, element. And this is the one that's responsible for querying our uh, email templates. So as you can see here, we're querying the email template object right here. And we have some uh, condition requirements. Basically, it is one and two, or three. So basically, the template has to be active. So is is active is set to true. And the developer name, like how I mentioned before has to contain lead. Um, this was kind of just arbitrary. I just wanted to show that it's there is a way to be able to query a specific type of template. Um, I'm not sure if you want to get more specific than that, that's will be left up to your specific use case. But anyways, so I chose developer name contains lead as well as this related entity type equals lead. Uh, I don't quite remember up top of my head, but I believe this is only for the lightning email templates uh, that have this uh, field. So uh, there you have it. Uh, this the second one is mostly just for classic email templates that don't have this specific field that allows you to query uh, by lead template, if you will. So once we once we have the, those conditions set, we're just saying we're going to store all of those records into a collection email templates uh, record or collect a record collection rather. That way we can use it later on down the line. So once we have that done, we have another decision tree and basically the same as before, we're going to say, Hey, did we find any email templates? If we did not, we're going to show the user another screen. And this time being that there are no email templates found. So we can't send any emails out and therefore the screen flow will end. If there were uh, email templates found, then we show the user a different screen on the right hand side of the, the, the tree. And this time we just uh, show a list of all of the, the email templates that were found that, that met our criteria as Usual, we use another data table, which uh, you can grab from the left hand side right here. And all it's doing is uh, setting the source collection. So what to display as the collection email templates uh, record uh, that we had defined previously. So with that set, now we just have our buttons back and send emails, send emails will obviously just go towards the next part right here, 
which is a loop that will go through each of the records that we had, the lead records that we had queried all the way up top right here. And basically it's just going to go through each one and it will use the email action right here. As we can see, if we click into it, basically what this is doing is we're grabbing the email templates that was selected. So as you can see here, uh, this is set to the data table, the first selected row. I believe that, that that's what the, the thing is. So we're grabbing the ID of the first selected row, which is just the ID of the email template itself. So once we set that as the email template ID that we're going to use for our action email, we set the recipient as the ID and the sender email address as just the user's email. So essentially the person that started the email, the, the, the screen flow itself. Uh, once we have that, we move on to the next step, which is we're going to now go ahead and update the status of the uh, lead itself. And again, this is kind of arbitrary. It was just part of the scenario that I brought up uh, at the beginning. So what we're doing is the current lead that we're iterating through, we're just setting the status of that to working contacted. And then the, in the next step, we are grabbing that lead that we're currently iterating through and we're adding it to another collection variable. Now, it's been a while since I've worked the flows because I've taken some time off. But I want to say as of now, it, you still have to create a whole separate collection uh, record to dump any type of record that you want to update. For example, you couldn't just iterate through, do, go through this for loop and, and update the, the actual get records up here in itself. Um, if you try doing that, it won't actually update the records when you, when you do the, the email operation all the way at the bottom. You actually have to dump them into a brand new uh, collection uh, record collection, which is what I did right here. I'm just adding it. I'm just adding the current iteration of our, of our loop, the lead into a brand new collection record. And then once we're done iterating through all of our leads at the end here, you have an update records element, which if I click into, it's that brand new, uh, collection record collection that contains the updated status of those leads. And that's what we're actually updating right here, as you can see there. So once we have that, uh, again, just one more last screen flow just to tell the user that, hey, the emails were sent out and the lead status was indeed updated. So I know I'm kind of blasting through this, but I just wanted to make this quick a video, uh, especially because if you go back here and like how I said, I will go ahead and leave this video here that I think pretty sure showed how to build up the screen flow itself. If not, there's another video before this one that did that. I'll link those as well. Uh, but yeah, I hope that helped you out. Uh, let me know if you guys have any other questions, uh, like how I put in the beginning of the video. If you have any questions, feel free to either email me, leave your question in the comment section down below, or sign up for my news email newsletter and email me in there. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can.